The House of Representatives Committee on Urban Development and Regional Planning has expressed dissatisfaction with the level of implementation of the Renewed Hope Estate Project in Uyo, Akwaibom State. The committee also frowned at the poor job done in Omoetuk, Spencer Essen Slum Upgrade a road network in Oron, also in Akwaibom State. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Awaji Inombek Abiante Dagomie from Rivers, who led members of the Committee on Oversight of the project, not the four contractors handling the projects for gross incompetence and threatened to engage competent ones to properly impl implement the project. That's it. We would have gone beyond it because if you say the compensation were con concluded the last two weeks, what is here gets beyond two weeks. So the speed is also not encouraging. For a project of this magnitude, um, you would have expected to find more hands than what we are seeing. You could see only just one, is it uh, one dozer? That's all we have seen. Uh, I don't know if you have seen any other equipment. The, the, the equipment was arranged because that, we are that's, coming. That's also, so it's just, just one dozer. So it simply means that the contractor himself is not really serious. Because uh, even yeah. even if you the, the, the electrical works, in less than two weeks, you can do much more than this. Just get the post from uh, NEMSA certified uh, uh, pole dealers and you plant them almost immediately because the higher would bring it in plant and you do your stringing. So it's simply, they are not, uh, this, this, the contractors are not taking this. Honorable Abiante frowned at the level of implementation of the 250 housing units in Uyo by three separate contractors stating that despite being funded up to 30% each by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, the work done so far was less than 6%. We are working with this government to ensure that whatever is due to citizens will be delivered, especially as they come from taxpayers' money. That is the only way we can encourage ourselves to even pay more taxes in line with the proposals to, of course, modernize our tax system. So we will be inviting the contractor for further um, clarifications. And the ministry. And they will also to understand what the challenge is first. If we understand what the challenge is, we will work with that. If the challenge is so obvious and serious that we would advise a complete revocation, that we would do. But if the challenge is not getting to that point, we will work with the challenge with the aim of having to leverage on possible solutions so that we can get this through. The project was awarded in June 2024 and ought to have been completed since September 2024. He directed the clerk of the legislative panel to officially invite the Minister of Urban Development and Regional Planning and the four contractors to appear before the committee appearance before, uh, on Thursday, 21st of November, unfailingly. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.